Did you know you can rotate any part from any angle back to a 90 degree increment? Here's how you do it. I'll start with a sink that was brought in at an awkward angle. We'll use the advanced features of rotate by choosing it and then selecting the object as shown on the command line. And then we'll finish and we'll be asked to select a base point. The base point in rotate is the point of rotation or the point of pivot. I want to get the bottom edge of this sink at zero degrees, so I'll carefully select the end point of this bottom line to be the pivot point. And then, as usual, I'm asked to type in a rotation angle, which I don't know. So instead, I'll choose the F1 button. And this will bring up a little window similar to the one that we used when drawing lines at angles. We have to imagine that the base point we picked earlier is at the center of the degree reference. We want the bottom edge of the sink to go straight to the right from the base point that we selected earlier. And that direction is zero degrees. To rotate to zero degrees, we'll use the one point plus space option. And we are asked to select the point. This point would be the other end of the line of the bottom of the sink. And I'll select this accurately using the endpoint snap. Now I'll select my direction, which was zero, and then click OK. And then we'll click OK on the command line to accept only one copy, which rotates our sink to a zero degree angle. This method also works well when you bring in a template and it's not straight. We can choose rotate and then select the objects. I'm going to rotate both countertops at the same time, so I'll select both. And when I finish, I'll be asked for the base point. I'm going to work with the front edge of this countertop because the back is a wall scribe. So I'll select this end point as my base or pivot point. And I don't know the rotation angle, so I'll choose F1 to bring up my angle chart. And again, I'll choose one point plus base. Then I'll choose the opposite end of the line as my point, which I'll want to go at a zero degree angle. Then I'll click OK, and I'll click OK on the command line for just one copy. We'll rotate this other part as well. We'll select it, finish, and then choose a base point along this front edge. Select the end point of the bottom of this line or edge, and then we'll choose F1 so that we can choose the one point plus base method again. And since I want this edge to go straight up, I'm going to choose this end of this line for my reference point. And from my base point straight up is 90 degrees, which I'll enter and then click OK. And then click OK for just one, the original copy. Thank you for watching. Now you know what I know. One more thing. Did you know that we have hundreds of resources available on our website for machine training and service? To find them, go to parkindustries.com. Thank you for choosing Park Industries.